Are we on? Uh, yeah, we're on. Okay. Hey, so part two, because every painting has an ugly stage. That one certainly did. It was in an ugly stage. I had to fix it. I have my blindfold, as you can see. I fixed it. I did not care for it. Looked, it looked like a stick with hair sprouting out of it. I didn't care for it. So this is the new tree. Um, to me, it has roots. It looks more like a tree. However, it is solid black. Trees need bark and highlights and branches and all kinds of things. So with this painting, it's nice. Pick wherever your source is coming from, your light source. I have white on my palette, and I'm going to use a palette knife for this because it is uh, it provides sturdier lines, and um, it, it definitely makes it look more realistic. So I pull it out as flat as I can, cut across, get a little roll of paint. Thank you, Bob Ross. Now I'm going to try not to um, mess it up, but I'm probably going to, but that's okay. So we're going to find... I want my light source on the right, so we're gonna just use our palette knife edge and sort of carve along. May, again, make it random, short, some wiggly, some long, um, and sort of go along the right edge. Try not to get too much white in there. If you do, give it a good scrape. It'll scrape it across. It'll kind of give the implications of bark. And again, I use my hand following along along the roots. Make sure you've got wiggly, snarly roots. And, oops. Ah, I need a good hand. It doesn't have paint on it. There we go. Find your branch. Kind of go along using some of the, the branch highlights. And uh, guys, I'm a, a very beginner artist, so there are people out there that are better than me, <laughs> much better. So if you don't like this painting, if you think it looks horrible, you know, good for you. I personally enjoy it and I like it. So if you wanna find someone better or you know, you wanna give it a go, absolutely. Now I don't, you know, I try and leave one of the sides as blank as possible because it's the shadow side and you want light and shadow, even blind. Yes, we do know about light and shadows. Um, you have to be taught yes you do know about it so that is our very abstract tree painting it's more like you're looking up at a tree i think the bottom is much thicker than it should be but that is our abstract tree painting with a nice green and yellow background thank you again jane font for that color palette thank you everyone for watching if you have questions let me know if you don't like it great if you do great um talk to you soon